Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a very interesting geometry math problem. Let us say we have given a trapezoid whose three side length is given where these two sides are equal in length. And there is a circle inside the trapezoid. Our target is to find out the area of this trapezoid ABCD. Now how can we solve this math problem? First of all here we will try to find out the fourth side of this trapezoid as well as the height of this trapezoid. So first we will try to find out this one side AB. So for this here in this figure we will use a result. Now look at this one figure this is the same figure. The trapezoid ABCD and the two sides are equal. Now here in this figure we will use a result that is tangents to a circle theorem. Now if we have two tangents from an external point to a circle then the length of that tangents will be equal. Look at here the point A we have two tangents this one tangent and this one tangent so let us suppose this length is equal to A so this length will be also A if this length is small b so this length will be also small b if this is small c so this length will be also small c if this length is small d so this length will be also small d so from here from this figure we can write AB plus CD will be equal to AB plus CD that will be equal to AC plus BD AC plus BD and that will be equal to A plus B plus C plus D so therefore here from this result we can write so AB plus CD that will be equal to AC plus BD. Here we have the values of CD, AC and BD. The value of CD is it is simply 50. So this will become AB plus 50 is equal to AC is 41 and BD is also 41. So this will become 41 plus 41. This is AB plus 50 is equal to this is 82 here we will take this 50 to the right hand side so this will become a b is equal to this will become 82 minus 50 82 minus 50 it is simply 32 so therefore the value of the side a b that will be 32 so here this value a b is 32 so we'll write this value here in our original figure so here this side of the trapezoid is 32 units. And next we will try to find out the height of this trapezoid. So for that here we will draw two perpendiculars from point A and B to this side CD. So this figure will become. Now let us suppose this is point M and this is point N. Look into this side. This side is 32 units. So this side MN will be also 32 units. But look into this trapezoid here the length AC is equal to BD so therefore this is a special trapezoid which is known as isosceles trapezoid so here in this isosceles trapezoid this length CM and this ND will be equal so what will be these lengths so here this total length CD is 50 units and this MN is 32 units so this remaining length will be 50 minus 32 which is 18 so this length and this will be 18 now as these length are equal in length so therefore 18 by 2 is 9 so therefore this length cm will be 9 inverse this nd will be also 9 inverse so here we will try to find out the height of this tra trapezoid so let us suppose this am is equal to h which is the height of this trapezoid now to find out the value of h here we will apply the Pythagoras theorem in this right angle triangle acm so therefore by Pythagoras theorem here we can write by Pythagoras theorem applying the Pythagoras theorem here in this right angle triangle this will become half hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square so therefore from here we can write our half hypotenuse is 41 so this will become 41 square is equal to base is 9 so this will become 9 square plus our height is am that is h so this will become h square and let us take this 9 square to the left hand side so therefore the value of h square will become 
8 square is equal to 41 square minus 9 square. Now this is an algebraic identity a square minus b square. So this will become 41 plus 9 times 41 minus 9. Now 41 plus 9 it is simply 50 times and it is simply 32. So next we can write this as this is 50, 50 can be written as 25 times 2 times 32. So therefore the value of h square will become h square is equal to this is 25 times 2 times 32 it is simply 64. Here we will take square root on both sides so the value of h will become h is equal to here square root of 25 is simply 5 and square root of 64 it is simply a so 5 times 8 is it is 40 so therefore the value of h it is 40 units so this is the height of the above trapezoids therefore the height of this trapezoid it is about 40 units we look into this one trapezoid here we have given the lengths of their parallel sides their basis also their height so here we can very easily find out its area so therefore the area of this trapezoid a b c d will become here we can write the area of the trapezoid that is half times the sum of its two bases or two parallel sides so that are a b plus c d times its height so height is a m or simply h now we will substitute the values from the figure so here we have the values of half times the value of a b is it is 32 units plus c d is 50 units so this is 50 times a m which is the height which is 40 units so let's simplify this right hand side so 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 20 is 40 so this will become it is 32 plus 50 it is about 82 times 20 and we have to multiply these two numbers so it is very easy 82 times 0 is 0 and 82 times 2 is it is about 164 so this is 164 so therefore the area of the above trapezoid will become 1640 square units so that is our final answer so finally the area of this trapezoid a b c d is it is about 1640 square units and that is our final answer and final target and last don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step geometry solutions thanks for watching